Hello and welcome to this video. This is the Ellie Glide M1 Plus electric bike and I really have been looking forward to doing this review. It's been sent to me by Ellie Glide and I'll give it a good look over from a beginner's perspective, from somebody that really don't know a lot at all about electric bikes, which is me. I've been the biggest hypocrite always saying that electric bikes are cheating, blah, blah, blah. Well, nah, not quite. It's been absolutely brilliant. If I can put this thing together, trust me, so can you. It's actually quite easy. Now I'm just in the process of putting the front wheel on and I'm trying to align it. Obviously I'm on my own fault, but I'm struggling with this little bit here. If you see it's a disc brake and it has to go between the little brake pads there. And, um, Trying to get it in has been a bit of a bit of a pain, but anyway, you get the idea. It's looking good. It's coming together. I mean, really, it's pre-assembled. They just took a few things off to for the package packaging purposes, but the rest of it, you ain't got to mess around with no gears or anything like that. Just putting the pedals on. Even the stand was on. So it's just a matter of putting the pedals on, putting the wheel on, putting the handlebars on, straightening it all up and tying it all up and just praying that you've done it right. <laughs> I shall continue. A gentle, uneven slope, and I weren't even doing anything, I weren't even trying. Now, Ellie Glide has made the display and function panel very easy to use, very simple, very big, and nice and clear. So, what you have to do is just make sure that the first of all, the battery is turned on and then it's a, a long press on there and it lights up as you can see nice and big nice and clear it's got your range your battery and it's also got all of your modes bearing in mind this is a, an, a pedal assist bike it won't just take off and like on a, like a cruise control although it does have that function you can just simply go through the modes so number one right up to number five so number one being a little bit of assistance number two three four five and so on so i've had this bike now for a couple of weeks i use number one just for a little bit of a push when i need it but you can use it as and when you feel that you you need it and going up to number five or number four or five if you're going up a hill or it's uneven terrain and you need that little bit of extra push then that's great and you actually feel it it's a funny sensation it just literally gives you that little bit of push that you need to, to get up there 
It also comes with the neatest little front road light and you can turn it on and off from the display panel. Check this out. So there's the little button on the back of the panel there. And as I push it, if you look in the mirror, look at that. They don't mess about at LED light, you know. Another little press and it turns off. Yeah, great little addition. Moving on to the battery, it couldn't be any more easier to charge. It literally unlocks or locks in place. So it's just a matter of putting the key in, turning it like that, pulling the battery off like that. Nice and easy. You can charge it, of course, while it's on the bike, but I like to take it off and literally just put it down where your charger is. That little thing, little grommet, Pulls open like that. Simple as that. And there's a little LED indicator here. If you push it, it gives you the state of charge. So right now it's showing full. One of my biggest concerns was the actual weight of the bike with the battery. But then I didn't know that the actual battery came off. So when it's on the back of the bike rack now, on the back of the van, sorry, on the bike rack, literally just take the battery off and put it in the cab. Simple, and then it just weighs just like any other bike. Uh, the battery, I've put this bike through its paces. As I said, I've had it for two weeks now, and I've got around 40, 40 miles from a full charge, And but that's been really, really going for it. It's been used in the battery a lot on number three, number four, and number five. So pretty impressed with the uh, battery life. When it arrived in that giant box, I thought, how on earth am I gonna put that together? I struggle putting a sentence together, let alone a bike. But with the easy user manual, I found it quite um, straightforward to do. And as it literally goes through everything, and to be honest, it come ready built. All I had to do, put the front wheel on, put the handlebars on, a couple of other little things, and that was it. And it was done, simple. So what's my take on this Eleglide M1 Plus? What do I really think about it? Well, I actually like it. On this channel, as you may or may not know, we often try and park somewhere where we're near a fish and chip shop, at least a couple of miles. We've often found sites that are quite far away. And the problem I'm faced with is always when I'm jumping on a non-electric bike, going to get the fish and chips, the problem is coming back and there's nothing worse than eating fish and chips when you're out of breath. Now with this electric bike, it can assist me coming back. So there's no more pedaling real hard to get back. The whole idea of going fast, getting back, is to keep the fish and chips warm. If it's a further than a mile away, there's always that chance of it not being warm by the time I get back. So I have to pedal harder for it to keep, for, to keep it warm, which means I'm gonna be more out of breath eating it. Let's go over a few things. Let's have a proper look at it now. First of all, I like the colour scheme. The components, now they haven't skimped when it comes to components. They're all Shimano, if you know your bikes. Shimano are a good brand, they're branded parts. The only thing that ain't branded is the forks from what I can see, the, the suspension forks there. But it works fine. As I say, I've had it for two weeks now. I've been almost everywhere. The actual bike is a medium size. So here's a little size reference from some work colleagues. The bike itself is very well built, it's got a good feel about it, it's nice and sturdy, nice and solid. The the tyres are absolutely great off-road and on-road. Um, I've been uh, all over here this morning, last week too, um, on the tarmac, a nice smooth ride. The gear changing has a 21 speed Shimano setup and nice and smooth too through the gears. So why would you buy an electric bike from Eleglide? Well, nice and simple to use. This is the medium, as I said, it does come uh, the bigger one, which is the 29 inch frame. This is the 27 and a half inch frame. 
Um, but why buy an electric bike in the first place? I mean, you might have problems with your knees or maybe your hips or something like that where you need that little bit of extra push. Um, it's well built, goes through the gears nicely, on and off road. I'd say it's a good investment. They're selling for $7.99 on Amazon or you can visit the Eloglide website. Well worth a look. But I'm absolutely chuffed with it. I really do like it. And I will continue to use it and I will be using it on the fish and chip runs from now on. You can be guaranteed that because I'm sick of being out of breath trying to eat fish and chips. Getting all heartburn. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And uh, I think that the owl over there is getting a little bit lonely. So from me and the owl, see you in the next video. Thank you.